What's up guys? Welcome back to Cousin Collectibles in the Finding Bitcoins series. Now we're in the 1960s. All these coins you see in front of you are all worth a hundred dollars plus. Now for this for this hundred dollar criteria, I looked up the uh auction prices and for each and went through each year and each type. Now I have found four of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven that I found in the sixties that are worth a hundred plus. Let's start with the ones I have here. For nineteen sixty nine D it is the the auction was in twenty twenty one and you can have a could have a hundred dollar coin if it is graded 55 plus so that's about uncirculated so it really doesn't need to be in perfect condition to get the hundred dollar um price point now it always helps to be even better on a grading scale higher the, the high end of the grading scale is 70. so that um that really puts you in the um, few that are in the best condition if you can find one that's in the better condition. Now for 1961 D is also valued above $100. Let me check my notes. 1961 D. Yes, yeah, so in 2021's auction, most of these auctions uh, are from eBay. I'll let you know when they um, came from a different source, but most of these are from eBay auctions. It sold in 2020 uh, at a mid-state 66. Now you're going to need a higher grade to get the $100 value out of that coin. Next we have the 1968 D. Now that auction took place in 2019 and the mid-state, the Condition of the coin was mid state 68, near perfect. And then we have the 1964 D, which was graded, which was sold at auction in 2021 at a mid state 66. Now, guys, the other two that I do not have with me are the 1960 D small date and the 1968 D. And the 1969, 1969 D, all those, no, regular, the regular 1969, no mint mark, all those would have sold for over $100. Now, all these um, criteria I looked for, that they all sold for over $100 more than once for so at least twice there were quite a few other coins that sold for over 100 but it only happened one time so it's inconsistent with the price that buyer may have just wanted it that badly but since we have a uh, kind of a set price condition we can see that that that's around the proper price of these coins is a hundred dollars now for a finder's fee i would like a subscribe and a like on the video. You're welcome.